are just on the stone road from the Flying J. We just left the Flying J. Yeah. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to uh, Nipigon, Ontario. And then I'm going to go in there and go grab me a Tim Horton cup of coffee. And then we'll make our way over towards Toronto. Or at least we'll start heading that direction. It's going to be really hilly here on Highway 17, but I could choose to go Highway 11 if I really wanted to, but I think I'm just going to stick with Highway 17 today. Uh, low don't need to be there till tomorrow, so mind you, I do need a good day of work to drive in it today, so we're going to keep her pretty steady today, at least I think. get down the road and have ourselves a fantastic day. Well guys, we are just leaving Nipigon, Ontario right now. We had ourselves a little bit of a Tim Hortons cup of coffee and a breakfast. Yeah, you gotta eat every once in a while too, right? At least I do. Yeah, they're building a brand new bridge up here it looks like. We've been working on it now for, for a while already, but it looks like it's starting to get closer and closer to being done. Yes, it is. Once that's going to be done, that's going to be a nice bridge from the looks of it, you know. But anyways, I uh, figured I would talk about something else as well. For those of you that are not new, uh, that are new to my uh, scan, uh, my YouTube channel, uh, pause a little bit there. <laughs> Had a little bit of a brain fart there for a second. What I was gonna say is, for those of you that are new to my channel. You probably haven't noticed or don't know, but my uh, videos are usually one week behind. So let's say today is uh, the 11th, the 11th of August. And when you're watching it, it is on the 18th of August. And what I was uh, going to talk about is uh, Next week on the 19th of August, we are planning to go on a trip. So you guys will actually only watch this a day before we are going to go leave for our trip. We're going to go to Seattle. Yeah, so uh, our plan is to leave on the 19th, probably in the afternoon. And then we'll make our way down to Seattle. We're gonna go to Vlogger Fair. I'm very excited to go. I'll meet a lot of YouTubers out there. I know a couple of truck drivers are gonna be there. And a lot, a lot of YouTubers will be there. So we'll have ourselves a great gathering over there. So we are sort of thinking about maybe doing a little bit of a live show. I think we will do that on the 22nd on Saturday, somewhere towards the afternoon or towards the evening. I'm sort of thinking, I think the show is supposed to be done at four or five in the afternoon or something like that. Speed warning. So I'm thinking uh, we'll do it either just after the show or a little bit after the show or something. We'll, we'll figure out exactly on when exactly we'll do the live show. But I figured I would give you guys a little bit of a heads up that we are planning to do a live show over there. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be Saturday. But what I think what I will do is periodically I will... Uh, Maybe give you guys little short update videos throughout the throughout our trip. Uh, maybe we'll uh, 
construction ahead. As we get closer to it, closer to it, we'll uh, maybe we'll uh, come closer to making a uh, a announcement there on when we'll actually do the live show, and uh, it will probably contend of me, trucker jukebox. I know uh, JP might be there. JP Mallet from Calgary is coming to the show as well. I don't know if he will uh, exactly attend the show, but he's bought the ticket and everything, but he's not 100% sure if he will actually attend the show, but we're kind of hoping that he will. And then uh, he will be in the uh, live room as well. Maybe my wife and my son will be in it. Speed warning. Maybe some YouTubers. Who knows what exactly will uh, will come out of the whole spiel? But uh, figured I'd give all of you guys a little bit of a heads up because I got to think about this in advance because <laughs> my videos are seven days behind. So uh, you know what you saw today was what I did seven days ago. You know. I do that just so that way it gives me a little more leeway to create my videos to put them nicely together for you guys and also because of internet it's uh, not always easy to get internet like for instance like right now I'm driving in Canada well I'm very limited to internet when I'm in Canada I, I bought a Wi-Fi system for in the United States but it's only good if I'm in the United States, so you know. So that's why I sort of do this seven days behind because that gives me more time. First of all, to put them together, to put them nicely together. Second of all, I need the internet. I don't have great internet everywhere, so. Anyways, that's about it. I just figured I'd give you guys a little bit of a heads up on what we're planning and what we're gonna do. I also had a guy uh, come on my channel there, I think it was today even or yesterday, he asked me uh, what the longest trailers was that we are hauling. Well at our company we only haul 53 foot trailers, uh, but there is you know different companies that, that haul longer trailers, I know they have extended trailers and stuff like that. But to be honest with you, I don't work for them, so I don't exactly know how long they are. But what our company does do, up here in Canada, from Manitoba to uh, Alberta, they will hold double trailers. They'll hold two 53-foot trailers behind each other, you know. So that's about the longest length that we go. But I don't personally do that. Because we need uh, special permits, I think you even need to have a special license just to do that. So, and I'm not really interested in doing that anyway. So, speed warning. Anyways, we're cruising along the uh, big lake up there, Superior Lake, I think it's called. We're having ourselves a fantastic day. So, let's continue the trend and have ourselves an awesome day well guys here we are now you really get to see the beach a little bit here when i drive the opposite way usually i drive westbound and it's harder to see the lakes you know when i drive that way all the bushes uh, in front of it and all that stuff you know but here we are still cruising along highway 17 here we're about uh, 197 kilometers away from uh, South St. Marie, Ontario. That's where I'll be making a pit stop in there. Probably go get me a bite to eat and all that good stuff, you know. I'll have about uh, 760 clicks in by the time I get there. Maybe even 770, so probably a few hours I probably end up spending the night there in uh, Sudbury Ontario or somewhere around that area so, let's continue on it's a little hilly up here but not a heavy load so a little hard to climb up these hills you know here we go guys we have just 
just had a little bit of a kid stop up here in South St. Marie, Ontario. Yeah. Had to go grab me a bite to eat and do a little bit of a circle check. Make sure all my placards are still on there. Tires are all full. Check the lights. All that good stuff, you know. Speed limit reduced ahead. Now we're going to make our way over towards uh, Toronto. We got 684 kilometers to go. So we can, uh, we can probably drive another 400 clicks today. So we would only have like a little bit over 300 to go tomorrow. Yeah, and that would be in the... Uh, Toronto tomorrow. I go deliver my load there tomorrow. Already got me a reload out of Toronto, but uh, eh, I wasn't quite satisfied with it. Turn left on Lake Huron Circle Tour, Highway 17. In 500 meters, turn left on Lake Huron Circle Tour, Highway 17. All right, RJ, you go ahead and tell them. RJ, that's right. Somebody asked me, uh, I think yesterday or something like that, if I had a name for my GPS. And I said, yeah, yeah, I do. RJ is the name. That's right. And anyways, as I was saying, I'm not exactly satisfied with the load that I uh, got offered. And the load that I got offered was to pick up a load tomorrow in uh, Toronto and then go to Illinois. Well, I kind of have my hopes set on uh, sort of going to Alberta because I do know they have a load there going to Alberta tomorrow night. And uh, I'm going to go to, to Alberta tomorrow night. That's sort of the load that I was kind of hoping for, so, so I, uh, I didn't say no to the load offer that they gave me, but uh, I sent them a message, I said, uh, I hope you guys have a load going to Alberta tomorrow night, I would like to do that. And uh, he sent me a message back, he says, yeah, but that load is only leaving tomorrow night at 11. I said, I know, I know that, I've done that load before. <laughs> See what his comeback will be. We'll see. I don't care if I get there tomorrow around lunchtime there to uh, Toronto deliver my load. I could have my 10 hours off. I could be good to go there by 11, you know. Doesn't mean that I would, but could be good to go. That load usually. Uh, Needs to be in Toronto, I mean uh, in Alberta in three days, which is still doable, you know, if I could uh, get out of Toronto tomorrow night, start driving, yeah, I could be in, in uh, Alberta by Saturday night, oh, yeah, no problem. But we'll see what happens. I figured it out, you know, if I could do that uh, Alberta run, get down over there, and then uh, go home from there, I could be home Tuesday evening, you know, if everything works good, you know. Well, we'll see how it goes, and uh, we'll just have to wait and see, I guess see what his response will be. He might have to see if he can find another guy that will haul this load for them tomorrow then if I don't take that load, you know. So we'll see. Yeah, it's starting to get a little bit cloudy here so I might get some rain yet later on today. Well guys, we are finished for today. We've had ourselves an awesome big day today. Yeah. I'm suspecting my light will go out here pretty soon because my alarm already went off so 
Usually an indication that my light will go out here pretty soon, but yeah, maybe we can. Ah, there we go. Ah, oh, no, we got it back on again. Anyways, we are in Prairie Sound, Ontario. We got about 230 kilometers to go tomorrow till we will be at our delivery place. Yeah, I'm sort of looking at maybe getting there around 11 o'clock Ontario time. Which is 10 o'clock our time, so. But we did good. We did really good today. We managed to put in 1,121 kilometers. That's a big day. Yes, it is. If you have never driven it, drive it yourself. You will know it's a big day when you do 1,100 kilometers. <laughs> I guarantee you that. But anyways, so I am ready to go to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. And we shall see you again tomorrow. Thank you for watching. And be sure to stay tuned for tomorrow because you never know what could happen tomorrow. So, good night everybody. I will see you in the next one.